Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 1.2 from the grade 12 Mathematical Literacy Paper 2 that was written in June 2023, okay? And question 1.2, guys, is us just basically interpreting the information that is given to us, right? in a next share right so we're going to be looking at a layout of a vegetable garden with different plant beds right and we're going to be answering questions um relating to this layout plan okay so before we get started with today's video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial guys and also please don't forget to give all these video tutorials a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks also guys if you know that you're struggling with mathematical literacy guys i'm basically going to be having my first um online mathematical literacy um zoom lessons on the 2nd of march 2023 right a number of learners have already booked their spots so if you're interested please make sure that you book your spot before the 2nd of march okay so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial Question 1.2 basically says that an extra A shows the layout of a vegetable garden with different plant beds as well as table 2 which shows plants with the partner plants right so we need to use an extra a to answer the questions that follow so before we even answer um the questions that are given to us let's just see what is um given to us here in a next year okay so in the next year a guys we are given a layout of a vegetable garden with different plant beds okay so this is our vegetable garden right and we're looking at this vegetable garden from the top okay and we are basically given the different plant beds okay that is one plant bed that number three that is another plant bed the number five that is another plant bed and the number four another plant bed the number six right another plant bed the number one so we're given the different plant beds right on this vegetable garden okay and we are basically told that okay the plant bed number for number one right that is the sage so this is the sage that is planted there. Number two is the marigold, okay? I wonder what is a marigold, guys, right? So that is what's planted there. Number three is the tomatoes, right? Rockets and other greens, okay? That is number three. So number three, we've got our tomatoes, we've got our rockets and other greens. Number four, we only have our onions in number four. Number five, we only have our potatoes in number five. Number six, we only have our cabbages. Okay, it looks like roses, okay? Number seven, we've got the okra or the tomatoes, right? In number seven, that's number seven. Number eight, we've got our kale, right? Number nine, we've got our peas, okay? So those are all the plants that are basically are planted in this vegetable garden in all these different uh, plant beds, okay? Let's have a look at table two. So table two says this is the plants with their partner plants. So someone might be asking, what is that? what are they actually talking about when they talk about partner plants right so they answer the question a partner plants are plants that grow well when planted next to each other okay so here this table basically gives us the plants right as well as their partner plants okay so the plants that they plant next to for example a lettuce for it to grow well okay so let's see at the let's basically look at these different plants for a lettuce what are lettuces plant what what are the partner plants for a lettuce it's a mint it's chives it's dill it's beans it's beetroot it's onions so all of these if you basically were to plant these plants next to a lettuce it would grow well okay let's have a look at a potato the partner plants 
for your potato is your corn it's your cabbage it's your peas squash beans so if you were to plant these plants next to potatoes and next to each other they would grow well you see we actually learn things like you you literally learn every day with mathematical literacy because i didn't know what a partner plant was but now we do all right so that's basically how we need to go about interpreting table two okay i think we're more than ready to have a look at the questions that are given to us question 1.2.1 says identify three plants that have cabbage as a partner okay nice and easy we're gonna basically look at three plants that have cabbage as a partner okay so let's see here which plants contain your cabbage okay we see that cabbage there pops up so it's your potato let's have a look here cabbage pops up right so it's your onion let's have a look here we do not have any cabbage here let's have a look here we do not oh yes we do have a cabbage here right your cucumber so the three plants right um that have cabbage as a partner right is your potatoes it's your onions and your cucumber all right so it's your potatoes it's your onions and your cucumber let's have a look at the next question question 1.2.2 says determine the number of partners of the plants found in bed four of the vegetable garden so what is the plant that is found in bed four we first need to identify what that plant is right and then from there we need to determine how many number of partners of plants does that uh plant have okay right okay so what is bed four we can see that in bed four we have our onions okay so here all that we need to do is we need to go to our onions okay we need to go to our onions and count how many what is the number of partner of plants that we have in um bed four okay so it's your one two three four five six okay so for bed four right the number of partners of plants that we have or that are found in bed four of the vegetable garden is how many we counted that we had one two three four five six that is the number of partner of plants uh or partner plants that we have okay all right so we're gonna say six so bed four is the onions and onions have six partner plants okay six partner plants all right let's have a look at question 1.2.3 it says that name the partner plant so we want to determine the partner plant which appears four times okay in the partner column okay so we want to determine what is the partner plant that appears four times in the partner column so what is the partner column all right so i'm just going to show you what we're going to be focusing our attention on this is our partner column that whole section there is the partner column do you guys agree right and from this we want to basically find what is the partner plant which appears four times so we need to see and find the plant right that appears four times okay so when you basically look here you'll see that okay it's not the cabbage because the cabbage appears three times okay um it's not the corn because the corn appears three times all right so you'd actually see that the only plant or the only partner plant that actually appears um four times right um in this column is your beans so it's your one okay it's one two three and four right so in this case right the partner plants that appears four times in the partner column we counted and we saw that it's the beans right let's have a look at the next question right question 1.2.4 says give the compass direction of the sage from the onion okay so here when they talk about the compass direction they're basically saying okay what would be just the general direction if you wanted to move from 
the onions. So we're starting from the onions and we are going to the sage because we're starting from, okay, the onions is the starting point to the sage in the vegetable garden. So let's have a look at our vegetable garden, right? So you'll see here we are actually given cardinal directions, right? Yeah, right? We are given that, okay, the north is going um, in that direction. It's going in the, our north is going down, okay? So what does that mean? Guys, remember, okay, when we basically, basically using our cardinal points, right? You always need to remember that when you basically have to list the other cardinal points, we need to move in the clockwise direction okay so if they've given you that the north is in this direction so if this is our north they tell you that this is our north that makes our life super easy because that basically says that we can determine east we can determine west we can determine south as long as we move in the clockwise direction so if this is the north to get the other points we're going to continue moving in the clockwise direction to get the other points okay so what are the other points so if this is the north i'm moving in a clockwise direction so i'm moving in that direction okay if we're moving clockwise guys you're moving like that okay right so what are the other points it's going to be naughty elephant sprays water do you see we moved in the clockwise direction to get the other cardinal points okay so naughty elephant sprays water okay so from here we want to move what from we want to move from the onions to the sage okay so we need to first identify where's our onion and where's our sage okay so we know that the sage is number one that is our sage our onions is number four that is our onion so what is the direction that we're actually moving okay if we moved from the onion to the sage what is that direction there then you have to make use of our compass right what is our compass telling us if we're moving in that direction do you see that we're actually moving in the southeast direction okay because we are in this region here do you see that and we're moving towards that direction from the onion to the sage so we are in this region there all right so if you had to basically think of basically if you had to now put um a ruler right and you had to move that ruler um parallel right um to this red line right to just determine where that will put us on our campus you'll see that actually you are moving in the south um east direction okay so in that case right to answer this question the compass direction of sage from the onions um of sage from the onions in the vegetable garden right is just the south east um direction okay so we're gonna write that down Okay, and it's also important that when you want to give the direction, especially if you're working with your compass, right, you start with the south or you start with the north, right? So in this case, because we are in this region, right, this direction is in the southeast direction, then it's southeast, right? If it was going maybe from um, number six to number seven, right, it's moving in that direction, right? So in this case, it would be um, in that region there. So you wouldn't say it's in the west-south direction. You start with the south and then you say north. So you'd say it's in the south-west direction, right? For example, let's say, for example, you were moving from number five to number eight, right? So you're moving from number five to number eight. Do you agree that we would be in this region? Okay. How would you basically give that direction? You would say that you are moving in the northeast direction. You wouldn't say east north direction. So you start with the north and then you mention the other uh, cardinal points. Or you start with the south and then you mention the other cardinal points. Okay. So that is how we basically give our directions um, when we're dealing with questions like this that deal with compass directions okay let's have a look at question 
1.2.5 it says some of the plant beds in the vegetable garden contain more than one type of plant write down the plant beds um the plant bed numbers of these plant beds okay so we want to basically identify which plant beds right have more than one type of plant okay so let's see so in this case what also helps us to determine that we've got more than just um one plant that is planted in that flower bed is that for number three they've listed we've got tomatoes or rockets and other greens those are the plants that are planted in flower bed number three in flower bed number seven we are told that it's the okra and or the tomatoes so that tells us that we've got tomatoes and okra that is basically planted um in that flower bed okay so for this question the two flower beds that we want to basically write down is number three and number seven all right and we are basically done with question 1.2 so question 1.2 guys was nice and easy right it could have also gotten a bit confusing most especially if you just tried to in this case um be like okay it looks like it's different vegetables that are planted here because there's different colors right what you always need to make use of is just the table because this table here basically tells us the different plants that are planted in each flower bed in number three we we're given the different plants that are planted in that flower bed number seven we've got the okra or the tomatoes that are planted there okay so that's basically what's going to help us um answer that question don't try and be like okay it looks like there's different types of plants because there's different colors you'd you you might make a mistake because you might think that okay with number four i was supposed to also give that as an answer which is wrong okay because with number four it's only the onions and no other um vegetable that's planted there okay so that's just the the key with this question also it's just also focusing your attention on what the question is asking you right with the other question we told us that we need to focus on the partner plants right column okay and in that column right we needed to basically determine which partner plant appears four times right so in this case we had to focus on this particular column here right and then from that column we needed to find out which plant um partner plant appears four times so there was only going to be one um plant that appears four times okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial the next video tutorial guys we are going to be tackling question 1.3 and question 1.3 guys deals with our understanding of volume okay and the units what are the units for volume that we use okay how do you convert from millimeters to meters so it deals with volume and it also deals with conversions so please make sure that you watch this video tutorial and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.